Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to create an instant replay using the TriCaster TC1 and Advanced Edition software. Let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface and the first thing that we need to do is determine what we want to record for our instant replay. So let's go ahead and double click on my program window here. And mix number one, I have that as me over here in my mix effect. And then mix number two, let's assign that to input two, which is where I have a basketball game feed coming in right now. All right. Now, let's go ahead and set up our recording up here at the top by clicking the gear icon next to record slash replay. And I have a check mark next to mix one, which right now is my mix effect. And then put a check mark next to mix two, which is my basketball game. So let me go ahead and type a file name in here for that. So we'll just say basketball for this example. Now, let me go ahead and just start recording. So now I'm ISO recording both me here in my mix effect and input number two, which is this basketball game going on here. Now to configure your replay, click on that same gear icon next to the record and replay. And next to the capture tab is your replay tab. So from here, you can determine what you want to do with these replays once they're done. So for example, I can have it sent to one of my DDR bins, or I can send it to my DDR bin and automatically play that source live in my program row, or add it to my export media bin. I can also go through and select how I want these clips to play back, either speed it up or slow it down. And I'm just going to put it at 50%. We'll do a slow motion video here. And then also for the clip duration, we have uh, durations of 5, 8, and 10 by default. Uh, but you can also go through and type in manually what you want to have. We also have a section for putting in comments. So I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, replay. All right. Nothing fancy, just for example. OK, so we're recording everything that we need to right now. So how do we go through and get a recording of this basketball game here to use as an instant replay? All we have to do is click on the Mix 2 button here at the top and watch DDR1 here at the bottom. Boom, there's my clip. Now if I hover over it, you'll see that it has my comment in there that says replay. It's only five seconds long and it's playing at 50%. So let me go ahead and just play that on my program output here. Oh, pretty cool. Sweet, so it's playing back at that speed. Now let me stop this clip here real quick and show you something else. So we only recorded five seconds because that's the way we set it up, but that doesn't mean that we're married exactly to that. So if I grab this slider here back and forth, you see I can go even further into the game. So I can move this a little bit further back, set my out point over here, or set it over here as so my in point, and move these things around as I need. So since this recording is continually uh, recording on my master over here at the top, I can determine whatever I want to be uh, playing out here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, trim this out to where something cool happens there. Boom, there's that basket. Set an out point for that. And let's have the in point over here. I have it in my program row just so I can see it. Cool, let's go ahead and play it. And swish, nothing but net. All right, so let me go ahead and delete this and Let's do this all from scratch. So let me bring up, put myself in mix effect number one here, just so I have a different source to take to. All right, so let's do that exact same thing, but on my replay now, let's say add that clip to DDR1 and then show it. Okay, so let's wait for something to happen in this game here. So, all right, do, do, do. And I'm gonna pull up, oh, there's a foul. That's a good one to have. So let's take mix two, boom. And now you'll see, that it's playing back on my DDR1 bin in slow motion. So as you can see, setting up an instant replay on your TriCaster or Advanced Edition system is really easy. Now, if you need some more robust replay action, be sure to check out the NewTek 3 Play systems. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly, and I'll show you a little bit more of the TriCaster systems. Also, if you're on Instagram, follow us and tag us at New Tech Inc. And if you like this tutorial but want some more or need to go and find an old tutorial that I've gone over before, go to youtube.com slash newtechinc for more. Until then, 
Thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.